Genetics are a weird thing and it's real complicated. I'm going to try my best to explain. To begin, I'm going to explain my genetics. My genetics play a, play a role in my physique uh, and in my abilities, but not the role you expect it to play. It doesn't mean that when I lift weights, I just get buff. Like, oh, I just started lifting. I was scrawny yesterday and started lifting weights. Now I'm buff, right? When it comes to the genetics, I really want to explain that genetics don't really play a big role. We always emphasize genetics like that's the only reason for example Ronnie Coleman was as big as he was or that's the only reason Usain Bolt was as fast as he was the role that genetics played for me is because of my genetics I'm able to spend a lot of time training uh, because of my genetics yeah because of my genetics I'm able to spend a lot of time training my body is able to cope with stress quite well so whereas most people can't spend a long time training I can spend a long time I like ages training genetics gave me room to make those gains so because of genetics I've been able to spend more time training obviously I train for around two to three hours a day without my genetics I wouldn't have been able to they didn't make my gains they just made room for me to train this hard you know some people will be bragging like oh, i train this many hours at the gym and you look at them that the gym they're talking all the time or they don't look like much right but i mean intensity so that's something my genetics have enabled me to do so genetics don't play the role that we expect it to for me i would say genetics is like 30 to 40 percent but it's not it doesn't play the role that people expect genetics play a role it's very true but not a huge role you understand what I'm saying? The role it plays is it enables me to train as hard as I do. But then again, there's a lot of people, I've got a lot of family with the same genetics as me, but they ain't training like me. Meaning that they don't look nothing like me. They can't do nothing like me because they don't train like me. See, genetics play a role, but not the role most people assume. So genetics are not an excuse, but they are valid, you know. But not, they're not the making or breaking. As long as you're putting in hard work, and you're spending time training and you're giving yourself time to recover, your genetics don't matter that much. Like, if you have an artist that's really good at drawing a picture or painting or something, if you get like Picasso, and rather than giving him a paintbrush, you give him a crayon or something to draw a picture with, he's not gonna be able to draw as good a picture as he would if he had a paintbrush. However, because he's so skilled, he'd still be able to draw a pretty decent picture. So the point is, genetics is the paintbrush or the crayon. Yes, it plays a role. And yes, if you have, for example, a paintbrush or a pencil, you'll draw a big, better picture than if you draw a crayon. But a bad artist is a bad artist, regardless of your equipment. And a good artist is a good artist, regardless of your equipment. That's it for now. Like the video, share the video, comment your thoughts, and subscribe to my channel.